Here we have the growth column conditionally formatted using colors. But there is one issue with this. It is a little difficult to see which are the unprofitable companies and which are the profitable companies. For example, these two companies are marginally unprofitable. But if I were to carefully look at the color, it appears that minus 3% is actually slightly green. So it would help if we could identify explicitly the companies that have a negative profitability or a positive profitability. There are a number of ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one. Let's select these cells and go to conditional formatting. Rather than picking one of the default formats that we have, you can define a completely new rule. In this case, the rule can be based on what values the cell has or you can only format cells that contain certain set of values in a certain range or that are above a certain value, etc. Or just the top rank values, bottom rank values, those are above average and so on. What we're going to do is format the cell based on the cells that contain a value greater than zero. So all of these cells, we will assign a border that is red in color and <coughs> completely filled. We'll put it on all four sides or I could instead click on outline, which will fill all of these. So if I click OK and OK again, the cells that have a negative profitability uh, sorry, the cells that have positive profitability get outlined in red. Now, this is probably not what I want. I'd rather have the cells that are out, uh, that are negative in profitability be outlined in red. To modify that, let's click on conditional formatting and manage rules. That shows the list of rules that are applied to a given cell. So in this case, there are two rules. One that says apply a graded color scale. The other says if cell value is greater than zero, then format it with a red border. We can edit this rule and say cell values less than zero are the ones that we want formatted this way. When we apply this, that shows in a red border all of those that have a negative value. Now, this isn't quite clear enough. It isn't easy enough to distinguish between these. So let me show you another way of formatting it. Let us go back to manage rules. I'm going to remove the gradient by clicking on delete rule. And I apply this, the cells that are in negative in profit get highlighted. Instead of highlighting them with a border, I'm going to modify the format and have the background filled with perhaps a milder shade of red. One of these perhaps. And also uh, <clears throat> go back to the border and remove this border. So now we have all of the cells filled with a shade of red, indicating that these are the non-profitable non companies. Now, if I wanted to add a rule to this to highlight highly profitable companies, so for example, companies that have a profit of more than 30%, let's add a new rule. And this will format only the cells that have a value greater than 0 0.3. And for a format, we will set their fill color to be a shade of green. Let's apply this to not just this one cell, but this range of cells. And when we click apply, we find that there are two numbers, 32% and 38% above 30, that also get highlighted. You can apply any number of rules, one on top of the other, layering them with a variety of formats as well as with a variety of conditions. And with that, you can get some extremely flexible and powerful conditional formats that show exactly what data range is matching what condition and helps you see those insights much quicker.